you can always spot somebody new to surf ski because they're gonna paddle like this. You know, the knees aren't moving, and even if you, even if you're trying to rotate, the knees aren't moving. So what does leg drive feel like? I'm Rod with the paddle channel. That's Barry over there in the tippy boat. And today, I wanna talk about leg drive. You know, when I first started paddling surf ski, I kept reading how important leg drive was, but I couldn't figure out what it was. I looked online, watched different videos, visited different forums. I saw there's a lot of different advice out there, you know, I saw, um, don't worry about it, it'll just come to you. I saw, uh, you know, drive your, drive your foot into the plate. I saw lift your hip, lift your hip, take it forward. None of that's wrong because different people connect with different teaching cues. And so when you hear what, feel, what seems like conflicting advice, my advice to you is try it out because sometimes, you know, what makes sense to me doesn't make sense to Barry. It doesn't click with Barry. And what causes that light bulb moment with Barry, you know, doesn't really click with me. Or it may click later. I'm just not ready for it yet. So when you hear the conflicting device on, uh, or advice on leg drive, Go ahead and try it out, see if it clicks with you. But today I wanted to show you kind of the three, the sequence of drills that helped me discover what leg drive felt like. Because that was the hardest thing in the beginning, because I just had no idea what it felt like. This is the sequence, and Barry just mentioned that uh, the first time I felt it was when we paddled with our friend Hunter. And he had us do the single side paddling. And that really helped a lot. Very simple, you just start, I'm gonna start on the left side here. You just plant the paddle, you know, and rotate that, rotate that body out. Think of the upper body as a picture frame. So that picture frame is rotating that way. So we're gonna rotate out. But the first thing I'm gonna do is, after I get the paddle in the water, is plant my left leg. And you can see when I do that, that drives that knee down. So I plant that left foot and it drives that knee down. This naturally comes up as I rotate. And so what I like to do, we're gonna do that 10 times on the left side, 10 times on the right. You ready, Barry? Yeah. Let's do it. So here we go. You know, and when you're drilling, you're not trying to go fast. You're trying to feel what the drill is trying to teach you. If this drill is tough for you, it may mean you're in a boat that's too tippy. Keeping the head straight, just like you would with a good stroke. I don't know if that's 10 or not, but it, it might be. You'll probably find that one side is better than the other. And that's completely natural in almost any sports activity. That we're a little bit lopsided. We've got a chocolate side and a vanilla side. And a Neapolitan. And a Neapolitan side, which is the bad side. <laughs> Neapolitan, I don't understand. So start with that. Plant that leg, single stroke, nice and slow. Plant the foot, you can feel that pressure on the footboard, and rotate, nice and slow. So the next sequence of drills that I like to do to help me connect with the leg drive is the bar to chest drill. And there are different variations. You know, you see different instructors, different coaches, talking about what this drill is. Um, but the variation I like to do is just get the, uh, the paddle to your chest. And we're gonna remember that feeling that we had when we planted that foot in the single side drill. But now we're gonna, we're not gonna put the paddle in the water yet, but we're gonna still feel while we rotate, not over rotate, but while we rotate, as far as we can rotate that picture frame, we're gonna feel that pressure on the bottom of the foot. So doing that 10 times. And again, if you find this is excessively difficult, you might be in a boat that's too tippy for you. So you can do that 10 times or so. And then there's a couple of variations from here. One is keep those hands in and do your T-Rex paddling. Keep rotating, but drop that paddle in. But all the time, you're concentrating on that foot pressure that starts the rotation. So we drop it in, pressure and rotate, pressure and rotate. And then as we go, we're gonna keep going slow because we wanna feel that pressure. We can let those arms come out 
a bit more and we still feel the pressure. So we got that pressure there. Rotating, keeping the picture frame. And that little sequence right there, I like to do that little sequence of drill to help me reconnect with my leg drive. That's the sequence that helped me first realize what leg drive felt like. And I can tell you, when I'm engaging the leg drive, it's a huge difference in speed and power and stability. When we're downwinding, it's a huge difference in how many waves I catch, how many bumps I catch, and also how hard I have to work to catch the bumps. If, I, if I'm not engaging the legs, I have to work a lot harder. But when I tell myself, when I catch myself not engaging the legs, tell myself, use your legs, and I get that pressure, then catching bumps turns out to be a lot easier. Good, hope that helps. Let us know. Have fun. There's a bump. Let's get it. Where'd that come from? Let's get it. Ha, ha, ha.